If you're a rapper in the music industry, there is a 99% chance you have been arrested or at least had run-ins with law enforcement at some point in your life. Hopefully that was before fame, but still there is some rappers who end up getting arrested even with a multi-million dollar music career. I'll be sharing a list of rappers who already got arrested in 2021 and share the truth behind their court cases. You're not going to believe this. DaBaby Due to DaBaby being arrested back in January 7th, his music career could actually now be in jeopardy. On January 7th, DaBaby was out shopping inside of the store called Montclair, where the person working at the counter apparently noticed that DaBaby was holding a firearm in his pocket, and then he ended up making the call to law enforcement saying that he had it on him. The store worker made the call to law enforcement after DaBaby was done paying for his items in the store. While leaving the store, DaBaby ended up getting into his car and then was surrounded by law enforcement just a moment later. DaBaby was then taken to the side and while they searched through his entire car, that's when the firearm was found. DaBaby was then taken into lockup and was able to be released on bail, for the time being of course, but still will have to face this case in court pretty soon. DaBaby only lasted 7 days into 2021 before getting arrested, but wait until you just hear about this next rapper, NBA Youngboy. Now this one is a pretty obvious one, NBA Youngboy with his arrest record will make it to just about every list, but NBA Youngboy has already had multiple run-ins with the law enforcement this year, but the most recent one just a couple days ago at the time of this recording was crazy. NBA Youngboy was taken into lockup while on a high speed chase. Allegedly, NBA Youngboy tried losing the feds on the road, which again is a whole other charge in itself. But NBA Youngboy's car ended up getting flagged down as he was just driving on the road. NBA Youngboy had an outstanding federal warrant on his name and casually went out into the public for some reason. Now once NBA Youngboy's car was found driving down the street, the FBI then started the chase for him. This did set off a short pursuit, but once NBA Youngboy's car was stopped due to traffic, apparently NBA Youngboy thought it would be a good idea to try to make a run for it on foot. NBA Youngboy tried running for the hills, with the feds literally on his tail the entire time, which again is another charge added to the existing ones. But then, funny enough, there was a couple of fans who spotted NBA Youngboy running from law enforcement. NBA Youngboy made a run for it in some fans backyard, which was ended up being caught on camera. But honestly, I'm not even surprised NBA Youngboy is on this list, if you know about his current prior situation. NLE Choppa Now this was a surprise to many people, but NLE Choppa was taken into jail pretty recently after being caught in a pretty serious incident. Now reports came out of NLE Choppa being arrested. He was taken into lockup in Broward County for the charges of burglary, firearms, and possession, which is pretty crazy to think. Now, NLE Choppa was allegedly trying to break into his own or a friend's vehicle. This vehicle was taken into a tow yard as it was illegally parked. Now, inside of the car, allegedly NLE Choppa had a watch inside of the glove box. Knowing NLE Choppa, this was probably some sort of diamond out expensive watch, probably around $50,000 which I can understand why he would want it back. Now the funny thing is, you're probably wondering, how did he get arrested for burglary on his own car? Well, it wasn't his car in the tow yard. His actual car ended up being down the street in a different tow yard, and he was allegedly caught trying to get into someone else's car. 
Now while trying to break into the car who doesn't even know if it was his or not, I'm assuming he was spotted and the people who work at the tow yard must have ended up calling the law enforcement for backup as they saw three men hop the fence wearing ski masks and trying to get into some parked cars inside of their tow yard. Now with their arrival, they ended up finding multiple things on NLE Choppa, which I am very surprised about as he was with two other men at the time and I'm very surprised they didn't take the fall for NLE. But NLE Choppa ended up getting taken into lockup on four charges and is still currently held in lockup at the time of this recording. If you are still watching this video up to this point, make sure you leave a like and comment down below your favorite rapper so far on the list. I'm curious to know. Next up on the list, we have Silent Toe. Now, this rapper, many of you probably don't know him off of his name, depending on how long you have been a fan in the hip hop community. But this is a rapper who ended up making that song, Whip, Nay Nay type thing. I'm pretty sure you understand what I'm talking about. This song at one point was probably one of the biggest songs in the entire world. And it was for the longest time. And then this rapper kind of just fell off. It seems like yes, he was a one hit wonder, but sadly, this rapper has now been sentenced to life in prison for doing a certain act towards his cousin. Now sadly, this act ended up having him pass, which is allegedly all of his fault. Now having a rapper be at fault for something this serious just goes to show you that even if you have millions upon millions of dollars, even some of the richest people in the world still do things that they will regret for the rest of their lives. Money doesn't make you just some perfect person and still to this day there's tons of millionaires who has now been sentenced to life in prison for doing things in the real world. Now he already has been taken into lockup for this and has already allegedly been charged for this incident, which is the very scary part as it's all pretty much set in stone now. Sadly, the specifics of this incident, as I broke down all of the other rappers, hasn't really been fully shared online. Now, I do believe that is because it is a family matter, and with that being a family matter, I believe they actually don't have to share the specifics if they choose that. But if you are curious to know the specifics behind this entire situation, once it does come out to the public, I'll make sure to make an entire video discussing it, that way you understand what actually happened. So to stay up to date with everything going on in the rap industry, make sure you just subscribe to District Trending. I make videos every single day about people going on in the hip hop world, but if you guys do want to stay up to date with everything, just make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.